If you have a toddler that is either blind or has trouble seeing overall and has cerebral palsy, this is the video for you. Now keep in mind, these toys are still excellent for all children. I'm going over Emmett's top 10 toys that I feel benefit him in some way with the specific issues that he has going on and that he really enjoys too. Books that are interactive or not, obviously a no-brainer for kids. For Emmett, since he doesn't see very well, reading to him has always been something that he enjoys because the tone you have when you read is different. Even if you don't think it is, they can sense a difference and they act different when you read. Interactive books are a great way to use that reading time to show a cause and effect while you're doing reading so they can be stimulated at the same time while they're listening to the words that are being read. Larger teething toys. Now Emmett, even though he doesn't see very well, knows exactly where his mouth is and how to get things to it, specifically toys. We've always used them and brought them up to his mouth because we want him to get some sort of stimulation since he doesn't bring food to his mouth. We hope eventually he will bring food to his mouth. So having teethers is essential. My recommendation is the squishy yet still kind of hard ones. Those are Emmett's favorites because of the way they feel and you'll just have to try out different kinds to see what your kiddo likes. Typically, they're not very expensive, so you can try multiple kinds if you're on a budget. Button toys, anything with buttons on it. Excellent for cause and effect. It's good to practice with kids to train their brains to learn what cause and effect is. And for kids that don't see very well or at all, these are essential. They need some sort of stimulation with their hands if they're unable to see exactly what they are doing. Cloth or the crackly plastic books. Now, they're not always books. It can just be like a fabric with this crunchy stuff on the inside. But the sound of those, Emmett absolutely absolutely loves. And it's a great distraction because it's kind of loud. It also stimulates his brain to find the noise and teaches him to use his hands and muscles to make the noise himself. Textured eggs. These are like a slightly textured plastic. It's not a smooth plastic, but it's still a hard plastic eggs filled with little metal beads. The rattle of these are obnoxious and Emmett absolutely loves it. Also, due to Emmett's cerebral palsy, he always has his right hand in a fit. So this is an excellent way to practice opening that hand up with this egg. It fits his hand perfectly. Emmett also thinks the feeling of this on his teeth is hilarious. Finds it super funny. Rattles. No brainer, again, big no brainer for kids. But for Emmett, the sound causes him to shake them using his muscles, which is excellent. Texturized rings. It's too large to be a choking hazard, yet small and light enough for him to throw around and chew if he so desires. Emmett here loves the smooth rubber rings because he can squeak them on his gums. Linkables. Now there are three linkables I would recommend. The sloth, which I don't have, the penguin, and I think this is the koala. These three, the sloth and penguin, because they both move and are triggered similarly, and the koala, because it is it has a large variety of options. They all light up, talk together, so he can be stimulated by the same sound in different locations. And the songs and noises they make, he absolutely loves. And they're not something that gets stuck in your head, at least not for me anyway. I know some parents, it's a different story. But linkables, excellent option for all kids. I will have individual reviews for each of these coming soon as well. That's my top 10 toy recommendations for special kids that may be lacking in the vision department or have cerebral palsy. If this helps any of you out, please hit that like button so more people can see this. And if you have toys that I did not mention, please drop a comment of what your kiddo likes and I can try out the same thing with Emmett and see what he thinks. Also, if you're not on the Patreon page and you're interested and like my content, please head on over there and consider subscribing to my Patreon. You will get early access to videos that I'm creating that current week. On top of that, if you have questions, I can answer them in the final following video. And if you have ideas for new videos, you can drop them there as well. Thank you for tuning in and we will see you in the next video.